welcome to 3D Print Passion. Today I like to review for you the Atelier Sidewinder X2, which I got for free from geekbuying.com. Have fun watching the video. Included in the delivery is the big portal with a dual set axis, the basement of the printer with the touch display and a lot of small parts, like a power cable, a spare cable, a nozzle, a USB cable, a French, a filament spool holder and the manual and a USB stick and some replacement rolls. The printer can be mounted very easily. You only need to put the portal into the recessed areas and to mount four screws, which are already fit in place. To do this, the easiest possibility is to lay down the printer on the side and screw them into the portal. As next, you take away the transport lock cable ties. I check now how good the extruder carriage is fitting and optimize it with the eccentric screw. It should not be too loose and not be too hard that it can slide to the left on the right side very easy and all rollers will really roll exactly the same. I do now with the heat bed. In the next step, the polarity protected plugs will be put in place. By the way, this cable you see here, you need not to connect to somewhere. In the next and last assembly step, the filament holder will be put on the top of the printer. Before you power on your printer the first time, make sure the voltage is correct set it to your country. Let's have a look to the technical data. The printer do have a really big build size of 300 by 300 by 400 millimeters. It also do have a titanium direct extruder, a 220 volt heat bed, a 30 2-bit mainboard with TMC drivers, a synchronized dual set axis, a filament sensor, the Vulcano hot end and a color touch display. To create this printer now in Cura, you only need to add printer, go to the menu, search for artillery and choose the X1. You can modify it with X2. As next, you only need to Modify the start G code a little bit if you like to have a bed leveling every time with the sensor. You only need then to do after the G28 a G29. That's it. Now you have your printer in Cura. The heat bed of this 300 by 300 printer looks really big and nice. Beautiful. This gives enough space for all or maybe most of your ideas. Before I start with printing, I will do a manually calibration of the heat bed. This is very necessary because the sensor really can compensate a lot of calibration mistakes, but not all of them. So the basis to have good prints on the first layer is always a good leveled print bed also with the ABL sensor like the X2 did have. You only need to take for example a copy paper, move that forward and backward and make sure that it always have on all leveling points the same friction. The rest will be done with the set offset afterwise. To pre-level the bed now with the ABL sensor, you start the automatically leveling system. This can be easily done on the display by touching auto leveling. It takes a few minutes where the printer is doing on 25 points a measuring to define the exact height of your print bed. Loading filament is also very easy. You have that function on the display and you can decide to load or unload filament. The nozzle will be automatically heated up. You put your filament inside the extruder and start the process. 
to calibrate now the set offset, I prefer to print a bed leveling test. This is a full size one layer high print test printed all over the print bed. And during that print, I modify the set offset by moving up and down with the baby steps the distance from the nozzle to the print bed. As soon as I found my optimum offset, I will go on Tools, More and save that setup to the EEPROM. My first print with the X2. This is placed on the SD card and, at my opinion, for a first print it looks really great. Beautiful layers, beautiful printout, nice top and bottom layers. So far everything's good. As next I printed this theme of a rose. I know that this one is really not easy to print for almost every printer I have tested. This one don't look too bad. It's not perfect, far away, but out of the box, this is really a good result. Let's have a detailed look. My next step to test this printer is printing a cylinder in race mode. This allows me to see if the printer is creating wobbles and Yes, this printer is creating wobbles. So there is a little bit to do to make printers much more nicer. The set wobbles mostly starts on the higher levels, but you can see it always in the middle area. But like I said, the most and the biggest wobbles are on top. So to have a quick and dirty solution, I took some printed parts out of my Genius Pro I will show you the video on the top. If you like to see the details uh, on it, click on the video and put that parts on my X2, which fits perfectly. And we see the next wobble test, which is already much more better. Let's have them directly in compare. So of course it's not completely perfect now, but the big wobbles has been gone. On a printer test I also print always a calibration cube. The reason why is very simple. The calibration cube show me very well how good the layers have been printed, how good it have been printed overall on X, Y and Z. So you can see in a very good shape here that the printout is really nice. All layers have been printed fine and also the top layers and bottom layers are absolutely okay for first test print. I like this cube printed on that X2. Let's also see the dimension of that cube. Something we can see here also. X do have 20.02, Y did have 1997 and Z to have 20, 21. Not too bad. I also print always a Benji. This gives me a good possibility to compare all tested printers with each other. This one have been printed good but not perfect. The layers are fine. The ship bow looks very good. But we see on the door and on the back side of the print that the printer was not doing that perfectly. I think with a little modification on the slicers, maybe a little bit more cooling or a little bit less temperature by printing the PLA, maybe also a little bit slower, this print could be absolutely perfect. So far, also here, for a printer out of the box without any calibration, a beautiful test print. The conclusion. The X2 is really a nice printer. It can do out of the box nice printouts. The ABL sensor is a big function in plus. The Volcano Hot End and the Titan Extruder is really a very nice feature on that beautiful and big printer.
printer. What are the negative parts? The negative part is, at my opinion, the wobbling issue. This is also the reason why I do not really like to recommend big printers to absolutely beginners. Of course, you can use them as a beginner, no problem, but you need to be a little bit more patient instead calibrating a printer which is a little bit smaller, of course. A small mass will be moved, a small problems can come on top, especially if you print too fast or have not the perfect settings. Overall, this printer is beautiful, makes great prints and is really, really quiet. A typically Atelier printer, like we know it already from the Atelier Genius, Genius Pro and from the X1. Thank you very much for watching the video. If you like it, thanks to give me a thumbs up. If you like to see more from me, click on the subscribe button, otherwise on the bell to don't miss any new videos. Thank you very much. See you next time. Happy printing. Bye.